Um, hi guys, it's Lyric again. I um, I'm doing a um, tarot love reading for the sun side of Cancer, and I shuffled these cards already. And these are the um, the cards I pulled out. Um, this the top row is uh, represents the divine feminine, and the bottom is the divine masculine. I recorded a, like a minute and a half video, but I got really stuck on the divine feminine, so I hope I don't get stuck again. So, um, it, it looks like the Divine Feminine has a situation, um, that she's dealing with, maybe something at work. I'm gonna have to clarify that these Divine Feminine cards are really quick. I think that's what I'm being led to do. So, one moment, guys. So, let's clarify, um, the King of Cups. Okay, so it looks like um, the Divine Feminine is, um, she has a cup of love, um, an offer on the table for her person, but um, it's, she's kind of um, um, holding, holding it to her heart. She um, is uh, dealing with um, things at work, she's juggling things at home, the holidays are present, Cancers, like Cancerians, I'm, I'm a Cancer, uh, my Ascendant sign, or my... Um, rising sign is cancer so i can testify that we are extremely sensitive um yeah and so like when things are um, amiss like at home it really really Im impacts our lives like for me it does like in a super like negative way like we, it really um like you can it's written all over our face basically that we are not doing well that we are not in our happy place um, and then it wouldn't take much, like someone could walk up to me and just like say something to me about something and I could break down crying, like, like something like that, like literally. And so this divine feminine is kind of, um, dealing with a situation right now, um, with that. Um, I think it has something to do with work. Um, she's working through it though. It looks like she's got, she's got the three of pentacles here. So it's a, it's a, um, a scenario that's, um, that she's dealing with. Um, she knows that, um, her divine masculine has patience for her and um and she has peace in her heart that um that he's waiting for her is what it looks like okay and from this divine masculine so this divine masculine has some serious like um excitement for this cancerian um we've got the sun card here on the table for this divine masculine um what um he is um healing he is happy he is vibing um yeah he's a little bit um put off by her initial by her um pulling pulling back um he must be a very um well leo is very fiery and passionate let's clarify this eight of wands for this masculine what's his deal Oh, the four of wands. One second here. Okay. So he's um, like I said, like he's vibing, like he he really digs this Cancerian check. Um, he's healing, he's vibing. He has a a little bit of um, he would like to spend more time with this divine feminine. But um, he recognizes um, the needs that she has, and that um, and that he's willing to wait for her. So he's chilling. He's um, um, pulling back into his um, full into his um, masculine state. Um, 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 what is that? Uh, gelling like a melon. Yeah. So this is a super um, really um, good reading. These people definitely these energies of these people. They both definitely really recognize um, each other from a distance. You know what I'm saying? Like they know who they are. Um, their energies, um, work well with each other. Like they, um, it's definitely like one of those, um, super spiritual connections. Um, I'm happy for these people. I, this is the type of relationship I would personally like to be in, um, all the time where we, you, we can both recognize each other's needs, where we can, um, understand that sometimes one of our needs, they change over time. And, and if sometimes things happen in our lives and we have to deal with those. Um, and sometimes some of us, we're used to dealing things by ourselves. 
And so it's hard to um, allow a partner to come in and do that with us. Um, but a partner that understands that and we can work together. And sometimes the needs of the partner or the, or the other partner are the same. So that was a little bit, I don't know if that was very clear or not. I'm going to pull a um, one of these um, lovey-dovey, like, um, lovey card things on these people. On these energies. Let's see. Because they're nice. These are sweet people. I can tell. It's very, very peaceful, sweetie, like, lovey, like... Uh, but not overly syrupy, like it's a, it's, it, it's, it's that energy of longevity, like that these people could get married, straight up, okay, and probably should get married, actually, because, you know, I don't know if pastors and priests, like, could tap into the energies of couples, that would be interesting, but anyways, okay, one card, please, hmm, I focus on, uh, so I don't know. I feel like this might be something from the divine feminine. Maybe this is what this weird work situation is going on right now. That this divine feminine, that's kind of like she feels that she has to focus on her job right now. So maybe I, I didn't quite read um, this cancer female all that well. But um, she has pulled back basically until she gets her work situation a little bit um, on the up and up before she comes f fully um, to be with this divine masculine. So that's all that I have. I hope that you enjoyed this reading. I hope that it made sense. Um, uh, peace out, guys.